SEO followers, this is a Tech SEO Pro tip video. And today you learn how to use the content tabs the right way. Let's go. SEOs get confused about how to use tabs and how to use content in them. And no wonder, because on many websites, tabs look the same, but the functionality is different. So I prepared a few examples for you, and by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to use tabs for different scenarios. Let's talk about tabs. Here is an example of tabs on a page. So this is the SEO Pro extension page. By the way, you can download the SEO Pro extension for free on the link in the comments. Uh, but I wanted to show you the tabs here. So you can see the tabs are, this is just part of the content. So basically they do not create any separate page. They do not have any changes here. So they just serve as part of the page, part of the sections of the page so that the page is not too long. Um, and instead it's structured this way. But also here's another example. So here's a website and you can see that there are also tabs here. But in this example, the difference is that these tabs, if you uh, look here, if you um, look at the left corner of this video, you will see that uh, the URL is different because it has features at the end. But I'll also, I'll just copy the URL here and insert. So basically it adds features in the end. That's totally fine as well. This just creates um, a link to a specific section of the page. It does not create a standalone URL. It just creates a link to a specific section of the page that you can share uh, if you need this uh, particular section to be opened when someone goes uh, to this URL. But I also wanted to show you a different example when it comes to tabs. And I really loved it. And I think that it's super important to know the difference between this kind of URL so that you can use them properly when it comes to deciding on your technical SEO stack. Okay, so you can see tabs here, nothing like pretty similar to this, right? The behavior is the same and visually they look basically the same, except where this, the websites are different, obviously. But if you just look at this, you can see that the URL is actually changing. So it's AI, YouTube, title generator, Instagram, title generator, TikTok, blog, email, you name it, right? So the URLs are actually changing. And if I just copy this URL and go to this URL, what I'll see, this tab is going to be opened. So what this means is that visually it's basically the same tool. And for user experience, it's amazing because you need, if you want to um, generate something for YouTube and then generate something for Instagram at the same time, that's going to be pretty easy. And also what I noticed is that their content is changing. So what they did, they put um, six different pages into this one user experience. Uh, but at the same time, people can visit those uh, different pages. And these URLs are standalone pages that can be ranking on their own. While, for example, in this case, obviously only this page is ranking and the, the, these specific tabs are not ranking. So you can use tabs to show more content on the page so that these tabs do not have standalone URLs. Or you can use tabs to link to separate pages so that they have a standalone URLs and that they can rank on Google or other search engines individually. Like this video? Don't forget to click this like below and comment on this video. Tell me how much you like this video. And if you really want to become confident in your technical SEO skills, I have the Tech SEO Pro course. Check it out by the link in this video, not in this video, in the description to this video. And we'll see you in the next Pro Tips.